Something happened, and that was what really shaped my life. We all fall in love, and love is something that makes us to feel accepted, to feel welcome, and it is one thing that if you get it right, you'll be okay. If you get it wrong, you might not be okay. And so I had a, a, a personal experience where I met someone, fell in love, and out of nowhere, this person just hits you big time. You don't know what you did wrong and where you went wrong, but people will hurt you. One lesson I have learned is people will hurt you. As long as human beings are not perfect, they're going to hurt you. And if they hurt you so bad without conscience, it can really, really, really shatter you. Trust me, it was bad. And sometimes when you're alone and you go through that experience, there are so many thoughts that comes into your ears. Why did this person do this to me? Why me? Have you asked yourself, why me? Yes. People will do things to you, you ask, why me? And that was the period where I had been so much disappointed in someone I loved and I didn't expect that to come from. And it really shocked me because this person was a good person and that person became just a wicked, evil, bad person who had no feelings, heartless. And they leave you shattered and broken hearted. When you're alone, you think about everything you've done for them, everything you've given to them. And while they paid you back with that, it hurts. You, you go through depression. Last year, sadly by this time, November, I was in serious depression and it led to one thing I call desperation. Depression will lead you to desperation. You will try to do anything and everything to feel okay. And most often than not, the things we try to do to feel okay are bad and they make things worse. So I had my share of it and it was the most difficult time in my entire life because I didn't expect I wasn't ready for such a thing like that from such a person like that so I, I I could sometimes be there and I'll be thinking taking some poison just ending my life and stuff I've been through that I've been to the point of thinking about suicide and whenever people come to me telling me their problems and they want to commit suicide I share my story with them and it's what saves them I've got about three, four, five guys who told me, look, they want to end it. Even though they've read my things and those things have been keeping them going. So, I kind of have an experience with suicide. So, last year I did a recording. It's still in my studios. And I've not yet released it. It's called Suicide Do Not Decide. And in that story, I tell you how everybody gets to that point of going through so much pain. You want to end it yeah i've been there i've experienced it and i would say i've gained immunity to that experience so if you are going through something like that and you are thinking about suicide it's good just go through it and survive it you'll be tough and anything that rough comes your way you'll be able to go through it so it's 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 it's, it's good to go through suicidal thoughts but never ever commit suicide suicide do not ever decide so I know how it feels to go through something painful, hurtful, depressing and having nobody being there for you, nobody caring about you, nobody knowing what you're going through. Yeah, I've been there. I know how it feels. So, you see, I told myself, look, I'm going to fight through this. I'm going to get over this. I'm going to move on. I'm still going to be the motivational person I'm going to be despite this major setback and major obstacle in front of me i said i'm going to fight for it and here by this time i'm going to have a story to tell and today i'm telling you that story so i told myself i'm going to fight depression i'm going to fight desperation i'm going to get through heartbreak i'm going to get through disappointment i'm going to get through rejection and i'm going to go through the shock and i'm going to come out with my head held 
up and not sinking down. Everybody goes through some kind of excuse me to say we all go through it, but you have to survive it. Yes, learn to survive. That's in life we survive. In life we survive. So I made it a point that I'm going to survive this and have a story to tell. And that is what made me to write, never quit, don't give up. It was through my experience and what I went through that I would never quit, don't give up. Try and read that script. I'll be releasing a, a very complete video of it 2017, hopefully, and you will love to watch it. So I had to start reading my Bible, getting close to God. You see, whoever you are, we were created by God. I don't have a problem with what you believe, but this is what I believe. And that God factor is inbuilt in us. There are times you yearn for God. There are times you seek for God. And it's good because that is where your power fails you, your money fails you, your understanding, your psychology, your philosophy. They all fail you, your power. That is where you need God to take you through some difficult situations. When you want to commit suicide, your money your power your fame nothing is going to save you through that it's only the word of god it's only jesus it's only your savior if you're muslim it's only your faith in muhammad and your quran that might help you at that point if you're buddhist if you're sikh whatever your religion is that is where you get close to your god and you get strength from above and for me, I like the Bible so much because that's what I know and that's what I believe in. And the Bible has an acronym that says B I B L E Basic Instructions Before Leaving Earth. Try and read that book. And if you don't want anything, try and read the book of Proverbs. It's in the Old Testament. It was written by my namesake King Solomon and he wrote a lot of wisdom. Try to read that. You have a lot of principles for life in that book. It is 31 chapters so every month you can read every chapter a day if you read proverbs for a long you're gonna be smart up here you're gonna understand the world and you're gonna be better in it